What's up, Bargain family? So we're inside the Dollar Tree, and right now they're bringing out all of the Halloween stuff, from the wall decor to all the little pieces that you can give away from party decor. There's so much to check out, so let's see what we find new at Dollar Tree. Let's start off with some products that are not Halloween themed. These are new to Dollar Tree, these handheld bag sealers in pink and in white. So I actually had one from Timu that I got. I wanna see if it works the same way. So basically this heats up and you're able to seal like bags of chips. These work relatively well. You just close it for 20 seconds seconds until it heats up and then you can use it to seal your bags. Now the way that it works is it tries to make a little like slice through the bag and remove the top portion off of the bag and seal it that way. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So in this case you can see it didn't work so I had to rip off the piece um, that didn't come off when I was using the heater but then you can see it's sealed. And then I did it again and it did not slice through it the proper way but it was still sealed after I used it. Dollar Tree recently got in these beautiful clear vases. Now there's this rectangular vase that is viral from Amazon. You can use the Dollar Tree vases to get a similar look. I glued four of the vases together using hot glue. They can only be glued at the top where they touch. So when you pick this up, don't pick it up with any water inside because it's not gonna be easy to move around without it falling apart. Now you can place your floral in, but I do prefer to use tape to make a checkered design on the top of the vase. That way it holds my floral piece pieces up so they don't tip over and this also helps with making each vase look fuller with less floral pieces used. Look how gorgeous this is. It has such a high-end look to it and would be perfect as a centerpiece, especially for a wedding. This is really fun to do with Dollar Tree baskets. We threw my friend Asia a birthday party recently and she wanted to do the viral rainbow party theme. So basically everyone is assigned a color and you bring food, snacks, drinks, whatever you want with that color theme. I was given green so I went to Dollar Tree and picked up a bunch of candy because honestly with my color that's what they had and condiments they had as well but I wasn't gonna bring condiments. Then I went to the grocery store and got some guacamole and chips, celery and dip, grapes, apples, limes and drinks. This is all the baskets laid out with the food. It was such a fun party idea. 10 out of 10 would recommend and you can do more colors. You can do white, black, brown. As many people as you have you can probably find a color for them. So we're in the plus section right now and they have these LED tent pucks for $3 and they change different colors. I'm gonna buy a few of these because I think I could do something super fun with this. We got this disco ball from Five Below for $5. We're gonna be hanging it to the ceiling. To do that, we used a ceiling hook that we just screwed into the ceiling. Then I'm gonna stick those pucks to the ceiling using command strips. And that's how the magic happens. The lights reflect off of the disco ball, making the atmosphere really fun inside of your home. So I hung this inside of my children's bedroom. Of course, it's great for disco parties at nighttime. Cooper loves to dance, especially to the song Funky Town. So we were playing that while we were dancing and he was having a blast. Sorry to interrupt this video, but we have breaking news from our sponsor for this video, Toon Blast. There are disco balls blasting with some amazing gameplay. Toon Blast is a free-to-play mobile game available on all devices, where you have to solve puzzles by blasting cubes and creating powerful combinations to pass levels. My personal favorite combination is when you can get two disco balls lined up to create a big blast. You can join a team to play with other players and unlock awesome rewards. If you're on a team, you can request lives when you run out of lives, and you can gift lives. The game has over 7,000 levels, plus you can play mini games on the side to claim rewards. Beside the gameplay itself, one of my favorite things about Toon Blast is there's no Wi-Fi required. I don't know how many times I'm in a rural area on a road trip, I have nothing to do because there's no Wi-Fi, but Toon Blast, you don't need the Wi-Fi, so you can play whenever, wherever. You guys know me, I love to play mobile games, I rarely watch TV, so when it comes to winding down after a long day of watching the kids, I like to play on my phone, and I love Toon Blast because it is a game that gets my mind thinking about how I can do these certain combinations. I'm currently at level 132. You can download Toon Blast for absolutely free by clicking the link down in the description box. And if you use my link, you will get three hours of unlimited lives and 100 free coins. You can also scan the QR code here on the screen to download Toon Blast right now. And did I mention there are no ads on this game, which is awesome. Thanks to Toon Blast for sponsoring this video. Now back to Disco Dancing Bethany. 
10 out of 10 would recommend, especially if you have children in your life and you're trying to burn some energy, just put the lights on, spin around the disco ball, dance to some music to get some of that energy out. Let's start off with these awesome plates for $1.25. They're big and these could be used for DIYs, not just for your parties. I really like these. I love these little gumballs. They look like pumpkins and you could put like little treats inside of here. Really, really fun. These are new this year, these little trees. One of my favorite Halloween things to buy at Dollar Tree are these hanging ghosts. What you can do is you can put this on your ceiling fan and then they fly around. It's so cool. Look at the birds. They remind me of the stuff that they carry at Target. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking cute. Target carries these birds for $5. They are so popular. They sell out so quickly online and in stores. So it's really funny to see a knockoff version of them at Dollar Tree for just $1.25. I've seen a bunch of stores carry these bats that are cutouts. You put them coming out of your fireplace. Dollar Tree finally got them in as well as crows. I'm really excited about this. I ended up getting the crows. I bent their wings even though they're not meant to be bent. And then I got some glue dots from Dollar Tree. Basically these are the balloon glue dots you use for balloons but they work really well on the wall and they don't peel off your paint. So that's what I use to attach them to the wall and this looks so cool and i'm really happy they got the crows because i've done the bats in the past before i've never done the crows and i just think this looks so cool and for a dollar and 25 cents i didn't even put up all the birds i had more to put up these potions are new to dollar tree so they're like that mdf board or press what i don't even know what material this is but these are really cool especially if you don't want to make the potions yourself dollar tree is like no crafters you don't have to make candles anymore you can buy them already made so they have the candy corn candles which are new and then these miniature tea like candles they have ghosts and skulls never seen these before at dollar tree they even have like a jack-o-lantern the striped one pretty cool and i can't tell if it's paper or wax it kind of almost looks like paper these are so cute these are going to be really cute inside of a kid's bedroom like i'd like to get these little ones for my kids room but i put them high up because there are button batteries inside of this these led marquee lights they got a jack-o-lantern and they got a ghost super cute for a child's bed like i said i like to keep anything with button batteries higher up in my children's bedroom however i was just placing them around so you guys can get an idea of how this looks it's so cute you guys know me i love my spell books and potion bottles they have these little spell books right here now they don't open up i thought that they were going to be boxes they aren't they're just the core pieces really fun if you don't want to diy any spell books but if you do i got some really good tutorials i'll link down below for you they have these yoga skeletons in right now these would look really cool inside of like a globe or if you're trying to make a little land haunted house type of thing these would be really nice for that otherwise you just decorate with them so they always get these skulls in every single year. These ones are new. It's these multicolor skulls. They have them in different colors. They also have like the new globes with the multi-chrome. Is that what it's called? Multi-chrome look. They have a bunch of hanging signs right now that are so adorable. I really like these little haunted houses. I feel like you can buy a few of these, glue them together and put them behind a couch or somewhere like that. They have these giant coffins. I really like anything that has a vintage look. So they have this apoth apothecary. I always, I, I struggle with that word. Anyways, this little shop sign. And I really like this one. I like anything that has that vintage look to it. This is probably one of my favorites. I purchased the haunted houses. I did not glue them together. Instead, I just placed them on the back of the couch. And it's just a fun way to really have the Halloween decor just plastered on your wall. Cause I like it everywhere. If I could make the decor go everywhere, I prefer to do that. Like I said, I like anything with a vintage look to it. So they have these bats I like a lot. I just like the look of them, the skulls. My favorite is the jack-o'-lantern. Like I said, it all has that really nice vintage look to it. They have these new signs that have that feel of the vintage look plus farmhouse because of the wooden tones behind it. There's a ghost, there's a little tombstone. There's a whole bunch to choose from. I like anything that has to do with potion. They've got those in. One of my favorites right now is this candy corn. Love anything with candy corn and this would be really nice to decorate with. I like this enter if you dare sign just because of how big it is. Another sign that has like a vintage look to it. So there's three different ones to choose from. They got one that has like a tombstone at the top. There's a skull and then there's one that has like a jack-o'-lantern. And these have that apothecary look to them as well. I don't know if you guys see it. It almost looks like newspaper. I like these a lot too. Literally anything that looks like this I like. I don't really like the cutesy stuff. I like the creepy old style stuff. These are new this year, these lawn stakes, two for $1.25. They always have those, 
but these are new and then they brought back in the fences which are a really good uh, price for $1.25. These always sell out so quickly. It's these coffins that got a clear one and then the holographic look. These containers are super super popular. Oh and I really like these tumblers. Look at these. They got jack-o-lanterns, the skeletons and they got them also in just silver. Wow. I really like those. And then they got like the little kid kinds that are cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's so cute. I like him. These are new this year. So basically you push these into the ground and it looks like they're popping out. Jack-o-lantern, vampire, and a dead guy, the Grim Reaper, I think. And then these they had last year. I like these because they look like Joanne Parker things. So they got a cat, the jack-o-lantern, the skull. And then these skulls are new. They're on a stand. And they got that colorful look. They had these before, but they didn't look like this. There's things I don't like, like these green skulls. I mean, they're like velvet looking. I think that's what they're supposed to be, but they also look like moss. Super fun. This is something you can give away with like some candy inside of it. It looks like a little like a Halloween bag and it glows. I like these a lot. So I ended up getting some Halloween lollipops from Dollar Tree and I just filled up one of them with a bunch of the lollipops. You don't want to put anything in the bottom of this to dummy it up because if you do that, you end up covering the light that's inside of there. So you just want to put a bunch of candy at the top so that it kind of just squishes together and floats up there. I also got some peeps from Dollar Tree and I just pushed some bamboo skewers through them cut them down a little bit and place those inside of the other box that I had. Now, if you end up doing peeps, obviously you're gonna have to do like some cellophane over this, some type of wrap to make sure that they don't go stale. I got this yellow ribbon from Dollar Tree. I cut a little piece and I put it around one of the peeps just to decorate this a little bit. I really, really like these little boxes. I think they're absolutely fun and they would be good little like gifts you can give to your kid on Halloween. I like the bones need a few of these for a DIY. So Dollar Tree always has these fake woven baskets in, but they don't ever have them in white. I don't see them white, they're always beige and black. So I'm really excited about this. You can make tear trays out of these that actually stay together and they're perfect for fruit. If you wanna make a tear tray with these baskets, you're also gonna to wanna to get the cabinet shelves from Dollar Tree. All you have to do is place one of the cabinet shelves inside of a basket and then place another basket on top of the cabinet shelf. Then you're gonna use zip ties to attach the basket that's on the top of the cabinet shelf together. And then you can do as many tiers of this as you want to. I did three different tiers. And now I have this big basket that is really great for holding fruits and vegetables. And it can hold a decent amount of weight versus the other type of tier trays you make using Dollar Tree glass and E6000. Dollar Tree has this new set of dinnerware in. It's these blue plates and bowls and they're beautiful. You guys know me, I love to look at the new dinnerware. And this is a set that I definitely think is worth a dollar and 25 cents. I paired this dinnerware with a gold charger that I got from Dollar Tree a while ago. I use this gold charger all the time. It's so beautiful and I really like this dinnerware. It is amazing for the price and it just looks so high end. These are new to Dollar Tree bubble balloons. So basically these are clear balloons. These balloons come in blue, clear, and pink. They are not easy to blow up, you guys. So in the middle, there are these two little flaps that you have to open to get the air to go through. So I was trying to blow them up with my air pump. It was so hard to do. And when I finally got to blowing them up, they looked ridiculous. I just kept letting air go inside of them. And this is how it looked. It looked horrible. So I went and I asked my husband to help me out because he usually can figure these things out and he was having a really hard time when he was using my air pump. So I ended up giving him a straw and he was able to blow it up, but he said it's really, really, really hard to blow up. He felt like passing out as he was doing it. So how hard was that to blow up? Uh, very, very difficult. <laughs> um, I almost passed out actually, it really hurt, so I would not suggest blowing them up like this. So you gotta take this straw from another balloon I don't know where Bethany got this from, but she gave it to me. <laughs> then put it in here. Good luck getting it through this. But once it goes in, put it here. Kind of seal it up. Turn on your balloon blow rubber guy. Much better option than killing yourself. <laughs> <laughs> These balloons are super cool. They're just very, very hard to blow up. You might be able to find some on Amazon. They are easier to blow up. 
I mean, like I said, they're cool. It's just, you're gonna have a hard time with it. Don't say I didn't warn you. I ended up putting some fairy lights behind some of them and it looks awesome. Real quick, let's discuss the warning on this. It was obviously meant for like a floating device from Dollar Tree. It says, do not use if you do not know how to swim unless you're wearing an approved life jacket. Use only in shallow water. Do not leave child unattended while using this device. Look at these bleeding candle skulls in such beautiful colors. Dollar Tree really is just like, no, we don't need people doing any more candle DIYs. We're just gonna sell them already made. I really like these. Now I will say that the red that ends up coming out eventually is more like a pink. They're still really cool though. And it takes a very long time before it actually starts to get that pink color coming out. It was really hard to get on camera, but I really do like these. I love these stacked pumpkins with the different patterns on them, the stacked skulls and the stacked jack-o'-lanterns. They are a decent. They have these hand soaps that are super cute. They have the ghost and then the skull. Then they have these little coffins that have that vintage look again that I really like. There's two different ones that I saw. They're bringing back in the small little cauldrons and jack-o'-lantern bucket pails or pumpkin pails. These bottles right here are perfect for DIY potion bottles, especially because they have a bigger hole on the top. They make it easier to put things inside of there. Dollar Tree gets this cat in every single year and I love it for a dollar and 25 cents. They have some other buckets that are great for Halloween. These jars are new this year. These would be great to put candy inside of and then just gift them to somebody. Also, these little metal canisters are new. So basically they look like jack-o'-lanterns. Another little perfect item if you're trying to make some little favors or gifts for Halloween. I really like the skulls. These are great for potions. They're great for spell books. And the little skeletons are great for those as well. They got these little candy corns that are great for outside. A bunch of little signs that you can use outside. And I really like these ghosts, especially the little one that's holding the candy corn. For $1.25, these chains and handcuffs are actually a really good price compared to other stores and they're great for DIYing, especially really spooky DIYs. I really like these skulls. They are like a ceramic material, but they look like they are metal just because of how shiny they are. These ghosts are super cute. I actually wanna use one of them soon and put it in a terrarium. We've got this tabletop decor mason jar potion bottle looking things. They're super cute if you like glitter only if you like glitter. My gosh, it, it gets everywhere. I talk about it all the time. Glitter is the gift that keeps on giving. They always have these skeletons in and these skeletons are great for the price and for DIYing. They got these cute little pieces. I really like the ghost. And then they got these clear jars recently. There's a pumpkin and then there's a skull. And I really, really, really like these witch hats. They're great for chips and dip. These are new to Dollar Tree, the bones. And then we cannot skip over the pool noodles. They get these in every single year and totally worth $1.25 to do some really cool DIY with. I've done so many Halloween Dollar Tree pool noodle DIYs in the past before and I plan on having another tutorial out soon using them. Let me know if you have any ideas for me down in the comments. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you check out our sponsor for this video, Toon Blast. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video, Toon Blast. It's a really fun game, you guys, and I highly recommend downloading it. It will be down in the description box for you guys to check out. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.